All right, YouTube, we're playing the last round. We are currently 4 and 2, playing for top 16 with a little bit of luck and a win. Yeah, well, heater to start. Okay. And there's some decks where this is going to be good enough against. Well, it's not necessarily crazy because we move up six spots from 23 to 17 just with winning if there's not a tiebreaker shift. Now, that tiebreaker shift can hurt me. Like, if both people that beat me lost. We're going to lead on Flooded Strand. Flooded Strand will give off more information, I think. Okay, they have 60, they have 71 cards. Um, I don't think we want this. Because Flooded Strand Go is more indicative to... I don't know, a different kind of deck than than Scalding, like a, a slower pace deck. And honestly, we, we want this game to go slow. I really don't want to have to daze something here, which is a little unfortunate. Not dazing that. We'll get a Valk, Ponder. Thoughtseize is probably worth it. Okay. What does this do? Players can't cast that. I kind of want to stymie mana development. Or I could just let them have their mana development and take this scavenging ooze and then force this natural order and land true name nemesis. That's probably what I have to do. Yeah. We have to hope to rip some removal. I don't think I can daze anything. I need to land true name nemesis next turn. Okay, I'm going to play Dryad Arbor. Tiebreakers. Scavenging Ooze, so what is, like, Scavenging Ooze will eventually take the game over, right? It'll make it so that I can't stabilize and, like, attack through, I think. Because this doesn't really do anything right now. Return of Forest. Because now we hide behind this Trunate Nemesis. Oh, we even get the days here. Actors, they already did.
Okay. I don't really know. It will be a bear, but the game will go longer. We're likely going to last. This game's probably going to go a while. I could hold this Delver. They didn't make a land drop last turn, so they have nothing but spells. No, they did. They played their forest. I can just attack and say go, and if they don't do anything, I think I'm just going to attack and say go. They don't have Nettle Sentinel in hand. They just have this. They sack Nettle Sentinel with this. I just over. God. I think his crater hoof's not even that scary right now. Did Tom Ready would attack? <laughs> I wonder if I should play my Delver or not. I probably am going to. We're we're worried about. Glimpse. I'm going to play my fetch land. It gives them information. I should have tapped the underground sea, I think. All right, come on, Delver. Don't fail me now. Fuck. No, and I think I'm fetching. Okay. Let's do this first. Put on the bottom, put on top. Jeez. So I can go. I'm going to play Young Pyromancer too. There's a bolt on top. So we six them. Four mana. Jeez. Here comes a hoof. Oh, that kills me. Four, eight, 16, minus two. Damn it. Son of a bitch. All right, we want this. 
We want these coming in. In the cage. Spell Pierce comes out. Gurmag Angler comes out and then Daze comes out. I could leave a Daze in and kind of land because they're not attacking my mana. EX are slow. This is why I hate, I hate this card. So we don't have a Badlands. Hmm. I'm going to waste that. Alternatively, I can just play Pyromancer and Brainstorm for the third land. Which is what we're going to do now that we hit the Brainstorm. Um... Now we're going to brainstorm and hopefully wipe them out here. Oh, that's annoying. Turn an elf, you turn this. Brainstorm locked. We could there's marsh casualties. Or I could wasteland and preordain. Wasteland ponder. If I marsh casualties, he returns this, goes here, we wasteland this next turn. Yeah, I think that's the play. Put this back, this back. I either have to wasteland or do this this turn. And it's the Pendle Haven's not up. I hate playing against elves. <clears throat> Green Ranger. Okay. Looking for like a force. Force bolt. I can bolt this. 
We're going to shuffle this. Just play. I can attack with these, play a Pyromancer, Wasteland. Didn't play a second land, but he could just be sandbagging a cradle. Alternatively, I could brainstorm again. I should have brainstormed, I think. Probably just gonna block here. Okay. So I'm sure of myself. I hate playing against elves. I'm doing this in all all sorts of poor sequencing because I'm just nervous. I'd like to bolt this Finhorn Elder. Or find Grim Lava Mancer. Should have done all this before I attacked. If I could brainstorm in a force of will blue card, that'd feel great. Played my fucking land. Alright, let's hope we don't die. Next time we're gonna ship. Okay. Heritage Druid. Oh God. Bring some for two. Goes and gets in scavenging ooze. Yep. We're drawing a dead one too. So let's play the Pyromancer. I can just attack, get in for two points of damage. That doesn't seem good. I think we're just going to try to go as wide as possible. Only got one card left. He's going to eat to get those scavenging ears out of range. Uh, he's going to draw a card, all right. All right. Fetching our upkeep, get another red source. Really on a last hope would be a sick draw. That's not a sick draw. Okay. <clears throat> now we're both playing off the top. As long as he doesn't find a Wirewood symbiote, I'm okay. Okay. All right, which one of these matters the most? Probably the Heritage Druid is the one that's making all the mana. If he finds Elvish, if he finds Queer and Ranger, he's gonna grind me out. It's probably just this, and then serve with these. Though if I attack this, I can serve with these. 
Alternatively, if I attack with everything, he goes block, block, probably blocks here, blocks here. No, he's not going to block. He's not going to get the scavenging using a combat. I think I have to decay. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of this druid. The problem with not killing the visionary is if he hits, then I'm in a lot of trouble. And if he if he does tap some elves here, I can get an attack in. Like here, I can get in for some damage, but then he's just going to go around me. Or go over the top of me. I think I'm just going to pass. Six. Yeah, we're just gonna. I need to. I need to just spin off a bunch of cantrips. Fuck. That's so bad. Now I'm dead. Should have killed the elvish visionary. And now he's drawn two cards a turn. Okay, so now we just pass. We bolt this when he goes to return it. No, I'm going to bolt this Wirewood symbiote. That's okay. Wait till he uses all of his mana up. Bolt the symbiote. Tap target creature. All right, I'm just gonna bolt this right now. Yeah, I gotta break up those two. So I've got ten tokens. I need to hit like four cantrips in a row, and then I can probably serve, and then serve again. God, I hate playing against elves. Got another fucking wirewood symbiote. I need to start chaining cantrips. A new land. Are you gonna decay? Okay. Now we're in trouble. I need like a true name nemesis. Ah. I hate elves. Thanks, Matt Nickel. I appreciate the sub. We're definitely just going to counter spell. Because I think we're going to counter spell. I think I have to counter spell Wirewood Symbiote. Glimpse of Nature. Well, that's what we're going to force of will. Yeah, I should have just left him with the druid. Just let him make all the mana that he wants. And then just save my removal to keep Elvish Visionary off the board. Jeez. Yeah, no problem today, Matt. I appreciate you showing up. Too bad we're going to get beat up.
Should just let him have. Should have let him have all the mana that he wants. And just kill the things that draw cards. Uh. Oh, no. All right, I think flies. We flooded out a little bit. Like, we, we hit those two Pyromancers. And if we could have hit some cantrips just to start chaining spells, it would have been so good. He also did a really good job of not exposing too much to that Marsh Casualties. I'll have it up on my YouTube channel, which you'll be able to find, um, which you can find linked below. I've got the match here. I think it's it's still, I think you probably can watch it on this stream still if you want. Like, you, the video will be up here later. I can't, I gotta just chump this. I can't trade my entire board for the scavengers, I don't think. I will trade some of this stuff, I think, though. Just making inroads, I guess. It's going to make his ooze larger, but... Oh, the 2-3. I'm so stupid. I had to put a million... Oh. I'm just, like, rattled because I don't play... I don't play enough... Like, I don't... I really just don't feel comfortable playing this matchup. I really don't like playing against elves because, like, I, I don't know. I'm just never sure what matters. And what I misidentified in this game is I should have just let them have all the mana they want, and I should have just broken – I should have saved my removal to break this up. And, like, I just punted on that block. Uh, I'm gonna force this. Like, you know, there, there's so many things that just kill me that he either has a card in his hand that kills me, or that fi this combo finds him the thing that kills me. Got another one. Do you just not have? Hoof or Zenith, like I guess I just gotta continue to make inroads, but I'll do it right this time. <coughs> like I have to I have to work through his board and then like hopefully find Tune Nemesis. And then Trunay Nemesis can hold off this scavenging use forever. That was a made to learn. Is that deck? Okay. Alright, well I can get this off the board, which is what I've got to do. I'll just take this off now. It probably is another symbiote, but...
I have a dead gone to reset this. There's hope. All right. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. So we ended up. Let me stop my recording here. I guess I'll go back, finish it up. We ended up going four and three. I think. I hope I'll top 32. I hope I don't drop nine slots. Um. I just messed up against elves. Like, I don't know the matchup well enough. I don't feel comfortable with it. And I just got beat. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what happened there. Uh, I got unlucky in my round two against Grixis Control. Um, like, I, I, put him to, I put him to two with a board at parity. And... All I had to do was hit a lightning bolt before he killed me. And I have four in the deck, and I missed probably five or six draw steps, which sucked. Um, yeah. I mean, that's that's what that's what happened. Well, all right. I will see you all next time. Um, I'll probably be back on Wednesday. Probably playing some modern again. Uh, we'll like.